In this video, I wanted to show you how to solve pump test data by using a Quitist Pro software. Okay, this is a Quiver test. This is an Quiver test application. By using a Quiver test application, we can so on a pump test data for example here we have typical example of uh, a quiver test data here there is time in minutes and draw down in meter okay and the our quiver is confined a quiver Sandy confined Sandy aquifer and the discharge is 200 liter per second and the diameter is 8 inch or R is 4 inch 0 0.1016 meter okay by using this data we can solve by the hydrogeological parameters such as transmissivity and storativity of the aquifer by using the Jacob method. Let's do it by using aquifer test pro. Okay. So we go we'll go to the aquifer test pro click here Yeah here is aquifer test Okay now let me Yes. Welcome to Aquifer Test version 10. Okay, create a new project. Start a new project to analyze pumping or slice test. Okay, create pumping test, create slice test, or create ligand test. So here, t check the here create new pump test so create project means create new pump test if it's checked create slash test okay so let us create a new test now say our project is project information okay when you open the program we have file edit view test analysis tool Okay, here file, you know, it is usual like this one, editing, view here, new, okay, analyze parameter, analyze status, okay, tool, creating pump test, creating pump test prediction, creating slice test, creating new test, okay, these options, okay, now let us fill the Project information. Project name say Bahardar. 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 And project number say number one. Client Amahara Bureau. Amahara Water Bureau. Okay, location Bahardar. Export say the export is say Braham. Okay, that's this one. So the first thing is I should properly fill the data according to the given 
information and you go to those are given information okay, here liter per second or discharge distance in meter okay and draw dot time in minute and draw down in meter so let us do that okay set so plan meter time in not second instead mean minute transmittivity it is let us do in our case it is usually meter cube per day and meter air discharge in our case liter per second the first scale okay is like for the thickness here this is a uh, in bar it is a calculation of barometric efficiency barometric efficiency it is not usually done in our area but if so you will feel this data atmosphere pressure for each water level and you will not here let us ignore it for the for our simple example so we have re arranged site meter time minute transmittivity meter square per day dimension meter discharge liter per second pressure pascal okay the other uh, information is here let us create also well one uh, say pumping well well one pumping well okay well two observation well okay observation well observation well one to differentiate from the pumping well okay one here the position is given it is 800 meter away from that so if you will feel zero zero four pumping well pumping well here uh, will be 800 meters say 800 meter for our case and if zero okay elevation we can feel zero okay benchmark okay something here the diameter of this one is 0 0.1016 uh, meter okay another parameter can be left entity okay so the second step is let us go to the discharge meter is is 200 I think so 200 yeah 200 yes 200 so let us fill 200 here okay, water table it is constant discharge given constant discharge and the water level now what well one is pumping well when well, OW it's observation well static water level is say 20 meter actually it's not given let us assume it second step is let us go to fill the volume let us go to fill the volume we have only this is time meters water level we don't have letter but down draw down so what shall we do we have given time in minute water level meter draw down in meter so to get this one there's the import data reference system go to reference system and real time draw down okay and then we'll go to just to the uh, data and let us copy this data copy and then let us paste this data here okay this is the data from zero here static water level this one now after this the remaining will be analyzing the data go to analysis when you go to analysis here there is not any graph displayed it okay so what we you do let us do an important thing let us check the data from what from well one well one pumping wheel oh the data is 
not from pumping wheels. Let me go back. Uh -huh. This is a uh, data from pumping wheel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we go to this one. Wheel one is all the data is in wheel one. So what shall we do? The data should be here. Turn it. Okay, wheel one. This data should be what? Removed because we don't have data from this. So I should remove this one. Okay. Because the data is from observation wheel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The data from because when you go to this one, wheel one is pumping wheel. Okay. But this observation wheel one, so you should have a data. This have a data zero. So when you go to analysis, now the data is in observation wheel one. Okay, the data from will be displayed if we feel what water level this value. So let us check this value. When you check this value, you will see one thing amazing thing. Yeah. But now the data is not again will display it here. Let us do one thing. Feed comment, apply graph setting, analysis parameter derivative scattering graph here let me go to this one and see okay here do down in meter and time okay here is 100 200 300 400 500 okay And then let us select this one Jacobian because our objective is Jacobian. So let me go to fit. Look here, it's the best fit graph for this problem. Here is the transmitted value 1.443 and the storage value is 2.495 if you do by your manually or by using excel you will get such value mm -hmm. with a little bit difference okay because it is computer fitting and that will be manually fitting except everything is the same okay thank you for your attention for Mm. following and learning this video okay watching this video i'll join you in another video thank you for today's program bye bye